Many of you have been asking me for a video on popcorn because there are very contradictory opinions. Some say it's super healthy because of the fiber, while others say it's really bad because it makes blood sugar levels rise significantly. So today we are going to do a test on myself and see how much it raises my glucose level. I will eat a regular plate of popcorn. In there, if we scan it, we see that it's about 183 calories. There are 10 grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of sugar, because they are unsweetened popcorn. I didn't add sugar on top two grams of protein, and one gram of fat. But we also see what is very interesting is that there are four grams of fiber. So the fiber could really slow down the glycemic rise. And if you are interested in this kind of information, I really advise you to take a look at the Sugar AI application. It's an app that I personally use to track the impact of each of my foods on my blood sugar, on my health. Don't hesitate. So this morning we see that I'm at 89 milligrams and I'm going to eat my popcorn now. I'm very curious to see the impact it will have today. I'm going to eat the popcorn plain, but please let me know in the comments how you prefer to eat your popcorn. Do you like them sweet, salty, with beer? That way, next time, I might try new videos with different flavors. Let's go. After five minutes, after 15 minutes at this point, you can see that I started to move. I am at 103 milligrams. After 30 minutes, we reached 122, it's starting to rise. After one hour, I reached 129 milligrams. After 90 minutes... So if we look at the blood sugar spike, I went from 89 to 129, that's an increase of exactly 40 milligrams. So yeah, it's not nothing, even if it's not catastrophic either. Popcorn is interesting because even though it's high in fiber, it still causes a noticeable blood sugar rise for me. So it's clearly not the worst snack in the world, but I wouldn't go as far as to say it's great for glucose stability.